had it switch this month Underdog in this shit, I'm right I'm insane, you saying I'm right Gonna go pop and jump the gun I'ma go Phoenix like the sun I'ma go down and run it up It ain't over till it's done Kick this bitch just like a punt What you need it yet? Buy it, then receive it yet Give it, then receive it yet. What up guys, welcome back to the channel I really appreciate everybody coming back In this video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about How to data log your car So a lot of people ask me, what's a data log? So what you're gonna do with your access port, you're gonna record a pool, uh, two pools, two wide open throttle pools. Um, your tuner is gonna ask you, send me two files of wide open throttles. So I have PD tuning and that's with Ryan. So Ryan sent me an email saying, hey, can you send me two wide open throttle logs? So that means like two data logs. It's really easy. Um, you're gonna record your data log on this i'm gonna show you guys in a little bit how to do that so you call your data log on here and then from here you're gonna connect to your computer and um from your computer you're gonna email to him so i'm gonna post the link on top there that you guys could check out that video to learn how to connect your computer with your cob access port and then how to transfer files like that it's really easy it's right there you guys could check it out so back to the what is a data log a data log it's just like how your car performs so for me ryan's gonna want me to do two wide open throttles um that means you, i'm gonna be on third gear i'm not sure what your tune asked for but um for ryan he asked me to do a uh, third gear pull will be from 3000 rpm all the way to 6000 rpm with the traction control off so make sure that traction control is off and then um yeah all you have to do just go to third gear with the sport make sure if you're automatic make sure you put on sport and use your pedal shifters to go to third gear and then from there, um, just find a local safe spot. You could do those pulls and then you're set. Also with the email that Ryan sent me to do those two pulls, he sent me a, a chart of the, all the parameters that he wants me to record. So it's gonna be right here. You guys could check that out. Those are the parameters that I had to set in my um, Cobb access port. And today I'm also gonna show you that how to do that. It's really, really easy. You just have to go to settings and then you set them there. Um, like I said, each tuner is different. so. It might not look the same to you guys, but if you're from PD tuning, it should be the same. So let's go. All right guys, so I just plugged in my um, access port to my car with the EC cable here. Um, right now the car is off, it's not on. Um, so go ahead, tap, um, just tap once. Don't turn on your car, just like tap it on, just have it on, just like that. All right, so now you're gonna go to gauges. And then I'm gonna show you how to set your parameters. So this is how your gauges might look or might not. Um, I have six different gauges. You could change that. You just have to go to the, uh, it's gonna look kind of blurry, but sorry guys. Um, so this is how your gauges look. You're gonna go, you could change all these six different ones to do whatever you want. Right now I have mine to boost pressure. I have a uh, vehicle speed, um, RPMs, the fuel, horsepower, and torque. So, you guys can't really see, but let me see, you guys can get focused a little bit, it's alright. Alright, so we're going to go to the top right, over here, on the top, you just go, um, let me turn on the light real quick, you guys can see that. Okay, this might work a little better. So you're going to go up, you're going to go up one more time, and you guys can see that, oh, you guys can't really see, but let me see. But anyways, you guys, you you guys will see that in your in your uh, Cobb X port. Um, right there, the green one, it's gonna be um an arrow. Yeah, you guys can't really see it. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay, so you know how it was down here. Now you're gonna go up, and then you'll hit that green arrow. Then you're gonna press that the, with the center button, and then um to change your gauges, like if you want six. You can have one, you can have two, you can have three. I have a mine to six, that way I can see everything. That's why it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so go back on top, that green arrow. <clears throat> and then right here, where it says config. Um, so right here where it says configure your uh, data logging, you're gonna go there. And then now, if you guys remember the chart that I showed you guys right here, so that chart, you're gonna have to select all of them. They ha it has to say exactly the same thing. So you're gonna have to scroll all the way down until you find 
the same words as you see on your um callback support. So you see this one's the first one. Accelerate pedal position. The actual AFR. You just have to select if it's if something's selected that it doesn't say on your callbacks on your um on the chart that on the chart that uh your um your tuner send you then uncheck that. All you do is just like click the middle button and then it'll uncheck or uncheck it for you. But you just can't really see. oh there it goes. A little bit. But yeah, you just go scroll down like this one right here, the airflow mass. Yes, you see. There's that one. There's also the spoos pressure. Damn, this sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. You guys can't really see, but like I said, it's really easy. Just select all of them that you need, and then once you're done, just hit back, and then you're all set. And you're ready to dialog. Um. Well, the car is actually not turned on, so I can't really do any logging. All right, guys. So the next step: turn on your car. I gotta put gas because my car is getting low on some corn syrup. No, I gotta put gas right now. But anyways, back to this. Um, yeah. So how to start logging? It's very very easy. As you can see on top right there, it says not logging. So that means it's not recording. Um, it's not recording your car right now So the easy way to do that is um, don't start recording anything until you're ready to like Start recording like you're on your third gear and you're uh, re ready to like like floor it, you know, so when do you do that? You're gonna let me turn the light You're gonna turn on your car. Okay, and of course So what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna put your car on sport. You're gonna change it to third gear Right now, I'm at one. You're gonna change it to three with your right paddle shifter. There's one, two, three. But this is only gonna be when you're already at the, when you're ready to do the pull, like I said earlier. Um, so once you're ready, you're like all set, ready to go. Your car's not logging yet. Make sure you're at third gear. So then you make sure you're at 3000 RPM, you're ready to go. Once you feel you're ready to go, also guys, when before you start recording, Make sure you have your traction control off, which is right here in the bottom next to the emergency light. There it goes. Let's turn it off. All right, guys. So once you're ready, set, everything's good. You're ready to floor it. You're going to go over here to your callback access port. You're going to hit the middle button here. And it's going to say, because right now it's you're not logging, right? You guys can see that on top. Eesh, not really. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so once I hit the middle, you're ready to go. You're at 3,000 RPM. Um, third gear, you're going to hit the middle button. It's going to say logging, which means it's recording your car. There you go. So you see? Now it says logging. So, so now it's recording your car for everything that you're doing right now. It's going to record on here. So once you already floored it, you're recording it. And once you hit to 6,000 RPM, just let go of the gas. Don't do anything. Don't stop nothing. Just let it go. Wait like five seconds. And then hit one more time the middle button. That's going to start recording it. There it goes. It says not logging anymore. So that means you stopped it. And the data log that you did is safe on here. So now what you can do is change gears. Put it back to drive. Whatever you guys want to do. Um, so I'm going to put it back to park since it's already done. All right. So now what you're going to do, you're going to repeat the same thing that you did the first data log again, turn off traction control. You're going to put it back to sport. You're going to go to third gear, use your paddle shifters. Um, remember this is how you lower your shift and then this is how you higher your shift. So make sure you're at 3000 RPM and then just floor it. And again, don't forget to hit record because a lot of people forget how to record. That happened to me already. <laughs> it sucks because I didn't record it. So I had to redo it. So you might have different like data log files once you go to your computer. That means because you have you did it a couple of times. So that means um you can either send all the data logs that you have on your callback support 
That way your tuner sees it because he could see which one's the newest one. Or you might have like a couple and you don't know which one is the recent one because it'll tell you on your computer also. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. How to set your data logs, how to set your Cobb access port with your car, um, how to set your settings in your car, like the traction control off, um, how to use the um, sport with the paddle shifters. And yeah. So right now, I'm gonna go put gas, and then from here, I'm gonna go home, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to send your data logs to your computer, just drag them, and then you're gonna send those data logs to Ryan or to whoever, whoever your tuner is. And yeah, guys, I will see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, final step. What you're gonna do is, um, you're gonna open your access port manager software on your computer, which mine's right here. And then you're gonna um, connect your access port to the computer. So let me do that now. Give me one second, guys. And if you guys still need help how to connect your access port or how to download the manager, like this um, this software here, um, just go on that link right there that I'm about to post up on top. Go on there and I'll show you guys how to do that. Alright, so my thing is connected. The, ex the software is reading the access port now. So once you do this, remember guys, um, every time you plug in your thing, make sure your thing's up to date, your club access port. So all you have to go go on here on updates and then see if it, any new softwares or firmwares. As you can tell here in the bottom, mine says it's up to date, so we're good. So now I just go back to manager. And then here, these are the, all the tunes that I have from my thing on my Cobb access port. So you're gonna click on here to change it to data logs. And he, here is the two of the data logs that I did. For the example, it's not actual data logs. But um, yeah, these are it. So what you do now, you're gonna grab one, put it in the desktop, grab the other one, put it in the desktop, and then you could just delete these because we're not gonna need them anymore. And there's a trash, it's like a trash can right here. Hit that. Do you confirm to delete? Yes. That one's deleted, then we'll grab this one. Delete. That way it's, we don't like stay with them because we don't need them anymore now um yeah go back to home and um you go to your web browser go to your email and then here it is so then i would just type in ryan and you should show me right there ryan martin click that and then you go to your attachments Get one of those t attachments. It's like the little clip right there. Right there. It's gonna open up. You can either look for it or just grab it from the front. From your desktop. Grab these two. Bring them down. Since I'm using Safari. Da -da -da, do that. Then just drop them. And then there you go. And I would be, I would type in like, here is my new to open throttle data log, which I'm not really gonna send because already those are old and I don't really have to send them any new ones. So there you go. So you do that, then you just hit send, and you're done. Like usually Ryan takes like two to three days the most to send you a back a file and you like a new revision. So when you do that, um all you have to do is just download the new revision he sends you and then just do another data log because I believe he's gonna ask you for more data logs. Just to see how your car's performing and yeah. So yeah guys, hopefully this is very helpful for you guys. If you guys have any questions, go ahead, comment, um, message me on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, wherever. 
hit me up i'll help you guys out i'm gonna wrap it up here um thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate that so we just say 1.6k that's that's crazy I like just thinking like 400 more subscribers we're gonna hit 2k damn that's crazy but yeah guys thank you guys so much also don't forget to like the video give us a big thumbs up and comment and if you're not subscribed subscribe <laughs> all right guys i will see you guys on the next video peace out and thank you guys so much peace out guys